Rosie Annette here with Brushes by Sips and Bites and today my video is going to be all about my MAC custom eyeshadow palette. I made this really recently. As you can tell I still have like the clear plastic on it. I'm just trying to keep it looking as new as possible. Sorry if I glared you there. So I'm going to go through in this video how I all the shades in the palette, how I ended up choosing the shades that I did, as well as some tips and tricks for if you want to build your own MAC palette, as well as my in-store experience. Sorry if you guys hear background noise, it's really hot here, so I have all the windows and stuff open. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, we are going to go through the shadows in the palette. This first one right here is Shroom. It is a satin soft beige with shimmer. The next shade in the palette is Brulee. It is a satin, soft, creamy beige. The one in the middle on the top row, this is Rice Paper. It is a frost. It's a peachy gold with shimmer. Next, we have Grain right here. It is a satin, gold beige with icy shimmer. Last up, in the top row, we have Naked Lunch. It is a frost. It's a minimal pink with shimmer. Now let's look at them swatched on my hand. This is, this is Shroom, Brulee, Rice Paper, Grain, and Naked Lunch. These are all like the highlighting shades, so they're not going to swatch too fabulously but just so you guys can kind of get a feel for what they look like. Okay, moving on to the middle row. This is Jest. It is a frost. It's described as a soft peach with icy shimmer. Next, we have All That Glitters. It is a Vlux Pearl. It's the only Vlux Pearl I got in this palette. It's a beige with gold pearl. In the middle of the second row, we have Soft Brown. It is a cult classic. It's a matte. It's a soft, golden, peachy brown. Over here, we have Cork. It is a satin. It is described as a muted, golden brown. On the end of the middle row, we have Espresso. It is matte, and it is described as a muted, golden brown. Now to see them all swatched on my hand. This is Jest, All That Glitters, Soft Brown, Cork, and Espresso. On to the bottom row. This first one is Saddle. It's a matte golden orange brown. Next to it, right here, we have Bronze. It's a frost, golden brown with gold bronze shimmer. Next, in the middle of the bottom row, is my favorite shade in the palette. It is Amber Lights. It is a frost, peachy brown with shimmer. It is just stunning. Next, we have Sable. It is a frost, gold plum with bronze pearl. And finally, last but not least, we have Foley. It is a satin reddish plum brown. Here they are all swatched on my hand. This is Saddle, Bronze, Amber Lights, Sable, and Foley. Okay, so those are the 15 colors I got in my MAC palette. Now, how I narrowed it down to those 15 colors is first off, I knew I wanted a neutral palette, a just everyday easy, I don't have to think about it palette. So I first went on to MAC's website and I wrote down any color that looked good on their website to me. So I had like 100 colors, okay, maybe more like 70, but it was pretty up there. And then I went into the store 
And I started pulling the colors I saw online and immediately some of them read completely differently online than they do in person. So from there I started eliminating colors off the bat. So I narrowed it down once. Then I asked one of the sales associates at MAC working, her name was Jessica, she was so phenomenal, really patient, ready to help me. And I had her pull, the, pull all the other colors, and from there, I told her I wanted to pick 10 colors, or for her to pick 10 colors, her top 10 out of the ones that were left, because this palette holds 15. So from there, she picked her top 10 shadows. And from there, I continued to pick the last five until I had a complete palette. And she helped me along the way because there were some colors that were super, super similar that she was like, you don't need both. And for your skin tone or for this reason, I would choose this shadow over this shadow. So we were able to really pare it down and get a good variety of 15 shadows in this palette. And it has been so amazing and I just truly love it. So that is how I narrowed down to 15 colors for my original... I don't know, too many, too many to count colors. So I would just like to say like, too, I know Mac has gotten kind of a bad rep recently, but she was so helpful and she seriously worked with me for like a half an hour or 40 minutes until I got exactly what I wanted. So the eyeshadow pans themselves are 1.5 grams or 0 0.05 ounces. So they are a decent size and each pan refill because you don't want to buy like the actual individual pots and have to depot them all. You want to buy the pan refills are $10 just normal. And if you have a pro card, they come out to being $6. And you want to buy, if you're doing a full 15, you want to buy the large palette and this costs $8 normally. And then you have to buy the insert, which has all the different little cutouts for the 15 shadows because the blush palette also fits in the large, um, the large palette. So you have to like buy the eyeshadow inserts and not the blush inserts. And that comes out to be $2 for normal without pro card. So in order to like fill an entire palette normally, it comes out to being $160, which is, I know, so insane. So fortunately, I'm lucky enough to have my pro card, but if you're not, you can definitely, you know, go in there, create your list, and slowly build it over time. You definitely don't have to go out and solely buy all these at one time. Um, just some advice, but this is probably my favorite palette I own, and I know I've only had it for a couple weeks, but it's just easy. The shadows are blendable. They are buttery. They are pigmented. I can create a, a more dramatic look or a really natural look like I have today because I'm wearing this palette today. And in case you guys are curious, I have soft brown in my crease along with cork. Then I have a mixture of all that glitters and amber lights on my lid. In my outer corner, I have saddle and like my outer V. And then as a highlight, I have rice paper in my inner corner and on the brow bone. And under my eye, I just smoked out a little bit of saddle. So just some tips if you guys are going to buy your own Pro Palette, definitely go to a counter in person or a store and check the colors out. I know you can only make one of these full palettes in a Mac store, not at a counter, but just please check the shadows out online because some of them looked so different in person than they did on the computer that I'm really happy I ended up going in for it. Otherwise, I think I wouldn't have gotten a palette that is amazing as the one that I did. And remember, have fun with it. I know this is a big purchase and it's exciting and it can be overwhelming, but just know that this palette's gonna be your perfect palette because you chose every color that's in it. So if you guys have any questions or have your own palette, I'd love to know what's in it. So please comment down below. I hope you guys have a good day, night, evening, wherever in the world you are, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.